So this lesson, what I'm going to show you in presentations is uh, the difference between transitions and animations and how to apply timings to your slides so they advance themselves to the next slide. So first of all, let's open our existing presentation. Let me share my screen. And what I'm going to do is go into my start menu, PowerPoint, and we'll find that it was the most recent PowerPoint that I um, was working on. However, you may have to go in through your file area down here and find where you saved your PowerPoint, depending where it is or how recent it is since you used it. So, here we go. I now have my PowerPoint. So firstly, the difference between transitions and animations. Animations is when individual items appear on screen. So for example, in slide two, I go in here, I could click on this picture, go to animations, and I could say this pumpkin should float in. Okay, should float in. You can see it will float in like that. The lemon, we can split, let it come in that way. Sushi, we could wipe in. Chilies, we could appear in. And the pizza could fly in. OK, so you can see there the different um, ways which these individual items will appear. You can do the same for text. Text can uh, have an animation applied to it as well. So there we go. I could highlight that and tell this it's going to come in via shape. I'm not going to do that in this case, but you can use individual animations with text as well as with pictures. Okay, So an animation is the way that individual objects will appear on screen within one slide. What we mean by transitions is the way that the slide itself appears on screen. So in this case, if I go to transitions, I could tell this slide here to flash in. We'll see, there it is, flashing in. Okay, In fact, that's not very nice. I'm going to tell it fall over. That's better. Okay. This one, let's do curtains. And I have no idea what wind is, but let's see. Oh, that's rather nice. OK, so now we have transitions. Transition is the way each slide transitions on screen. What I also want to do is think about the timing of my slides. So we can see up here when we're in transitions, it's saying is there sound or no sound, duration, um, apply to all, advance the slide, advance the slide on mouse click. But I don't want to do that. What I want to do is advance. Let's give ourselves five seconds in this instance, OK? Normally, your slides would appear on screen for much, much more than five seconds. But just for um, demonstration purposes, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to unclick on the mouse click and say after five seconds, the next, the next um, slide will appear in. Now, the duration I'm going to put down to 0.75, OK, 0.75, and I'm going to apply to all. I could put individual timings on each one, but sometimes it's easier just to apply to all. So if I do apply to all, there we go, and back into my first slide, back to home, I'm going to save this work, so Control S or save, using your file save option up. Here, OK, what I want to do now is very briefly demonstrate how this has worked. So let me go to slideshow and we can see there that's my first transition. My slide has fallen over and come in. And there we go. Five seconds afterwards, my second slide is coming in and the items are animating coming in. And third slide is now transitioned in within five seconds as well. OK, so there we go. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And I'm going to come back um, to the area. So that's been demonstrating for you transitions, animations, and how to apply timings to slides. OK, thank you.